Yep, every day starts the same way, with a good coffee. Now I'm going to be meeting another one of my long-time subscribers today, hopefully. Haha, <laughs> fantastic! So do, you do lose a bit of luggage space then with yeah, this, don't you? Yeah, but it's not, oh, no one's talking to me. Right. Yeah, but it's not too bad. For those of you that don't know, and some of you probably will work it out because Mitch comments quite a lot in my yeah. vlog. This is Mitch. Hello, everybody. Sorry, I'm a few minutes late. That's all right, I was a few minutes late too, so as usual, quickly just talk about the plan. Yeah. Um, oh, what, is it what, is, what are your commitments today? Well, that's that's it. Yeah. Um, I've just had uh, a phone call from one of my other longtime subscribers, uh -huh. um, Alex. I had completely forgotten that I'd yeah. agreed to meet up at the Starbucks at the Presidia. Which okay. I don't even know where that is. It's over that way. Right, okay. Because I was because I was wondering if uh, several subscribers have told you to eat an in and out burger. Yes. And there is one I should do that. There is one on the way to the on the near the dealership. Oh look where we are. <laughs> That is awesome. Cup holders and USB ports. And I like the white seats too. With the seats down, this thing is huge. 12 volt socket in the back. That's awesome. I can tell you right now, that is a really nice showroom. I was expecting to see the crazy guy coming down and doing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> this is Alex. Fantastic. Uh, <laughs> We're going to get coffee. Yeah. We're at the Presidio. Yeah, this is the Letterman Digital uh, Arts Center. All these buildings here were built, oh boy, like 2006? This used to be a, the old military hospital. Right. Uh, for the, for the, this is all federal land. Um, this is all military base. So George Lucas bought this, or got a 99 year lease on this land, tore down the hospital, and then designed this whole complex to sort of house all the, the digital arts uh, things that we're doing. So we've got, And the Jedi. Yes, and the Jedi training center. Awesome. <laughs> so this is uh, Industrial Light and Magic. Uh, it used to be LucasArts when LucasArts was around. Uh, and then originally it was designed to have Skywalker Sound here as well, but they, they ended up staying up at the uh, Skywalker Ranch right. is where they're still located. Oh, um, so right now, yeah, these two buildings here are mainly Industrial Light and Magic. Uh, there's a few other companies involved in some of the other floors that don't have anything to do with us. And then these two buildings uh, have sort of been rented out to other companies. It's fun. They fund the like Starbucks. Including Starbucks. <laughs> there's always a Starbucks. And we do have our own coffee shop inside called Java the Hut. <laughs> Java the Hut. <laughs> so much for showing us around You're and welcome. thank you for the goodie bag, yeah, yeah, the Jasper. Yeah. Enjoy, there's something in there oh, for so too. So. <laughs> oh, wow, congratulations, you are officially got the most interesting job of anyone I think I've ever met. Cheers. Yeah, no problem. We're going to go check out GM Bolt now, I think. Oh, have fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I need to drive one just in case. Awesome. Cool. Cheers very much. Nice to meet Bye. you. How fantastic. Well, so far I've had an amazing day. It's what a been great completely man. unplanned. Yeah, he was yeah. great, wasn't he? I'm gonna go and see if we can find a Chevy Bolt, Bolt now. With a B. Right. Talk about confusing Bolt and Volt. Yeah, I know. I mean, you can yeah. tell how much effort they put into the marketing exactly. just by looking at the choice of name there. Uh huh. Right, so we've got a Volt, a Bolt, and a Humvee. 
Cool, well we're gonna go for a quick little test drive in the Bolt over there. So far I like the sound of it because it doesn't really have an eco mode. It has a kind of a low mode where there's quite a lot of regen which enables you to do one pedal driving apparently and yeah. I mean, those are basically the two things that I look for from any EV. And apparently, it's got the same 0-60 as the Camaro, which I find just to be hilarious. I do like the looks of this yeah. car, actually. My name is Steven. Yeah. My first name is actually James, but that's James. Really my dad's oh. name. James is an awesome name. Nifty cable storage. from the camera <laughs> and pieces them together and it's very it's very accurate this is pretty common in a lot of electric cars it just shows yeah. you the flow of energy um, and where it's going and then you have charging so you have a couple different charging options and then you can do immediate charge and that would just charge it to 100% immediately or you can change it based off of um, departure time or your mm -hmm. rate plan for for PG. So that's where you can set your when you want to charge it. Yeah, so you can kind of go yeah. in here and set it a little bit if you would like. Uh, Low okay. just takes a minute to get used to. You would like yeah. it if like you're in a high traffic area. It's not the normal way to drive. <laughs> no, it's but not. But I, I promise you having driven like over a hundred thousand miles in EVs. Yeah. Once you get used to driving with one foot, yeah, it's like it's a seamless experience. When you're not used to it, yeah. What tends to happen is people aren't used. They're used to being able to lift off the accelerator yeah. quite fast. So what what puts people off the uh, the one pedal driving initially is it tends to feel quite jerky. My foot kind of gets tired, and I I like to be able to pull it off the accelerator and stretch my ankle. And yeah. And you can't do that if you're if you're um, in it, it, high regenerate mode. Yeah, but I suppose the benefit of yeah. this car, and this is where I think Tesla actually is lacking to some extent, is you can swap from drive to low as you're going along. Mm -hmm. um, and because you can uh -huh. do that, you can match the driving of the car to the conditions. Do you see what I mean? So if it's heavy stop start, yeah. what you've got to ask yourself is what's going to tie your ankle more? lifting off the accelerator and having oh, to move onto right. the brake and then back and you know constantly having to do that motion oh, or just going yeah. up and down and then you get to a motorway yeah, yeah. where you don't want to have to hold your foot on there all the time so you stick yeah. it in ordinary drive I would drive around basically all the time in sport and low that you should would try be this. you should try the seats and see if they feel narrow to you in the front here this driver's seat when we get back yeah I will do you liking it so far yeah I was expecting shit really <laughs> <laughs> do, they, do they sell Chevys in the UK? Uh, they used to. They've pulled out completely now. Is that you what used to be able to get a Volt, but um, uh, and you could get the European version, which was the Ampera, hmm. and now you can't get either of those. And hmm. the the European version of the Bolt, which is the Ampera E, is only available in left-hand drive. So only for the rest of the continent, not for not in the UK. It's deeply, mm -hmm. deeply annoying because so far I'm really liking this one. What a fun EV. I've ne not met an EV I don't like yet and <laughs> that's still the case. Look. <laughs> so I don't know how many miles we just did but it's still showing tons and tons <laughs> of miles. Six, 60 much. kilowatts, did you say the battery was? Yeah. Well, I like being pleasantly surprised, and I'm pretty sure that's what just happened. So what did you think? I was very impressed, because I had very low expectations. Yeah. And I thought it drove really well, the controls were well thought out. Um, seats were a little narrow for me, but probably could get used to that. I'd want to do the 24-hour test drive to be yeah. sure. I, I always recommend a try, apart yeah. from anything with the 24 hour mm -hmm. test drive, one thing that will become apparent to you is yeah. that unlike with this car, you could drive over to Fremont and then up exactly. to Berkeley and then yeah. round to, you know, probably head into Napa Valley, uh -huh. then turn around and come home again. Yeah. And the entire way, not think once, oh, I need to be a bit careful or I'll run out of range. Exactly. You know, and it's uh, that's the level of comfort that you mm -hmm. get with a, you know, with a bigger battery. A real, yeah. <laughs> with a really <laughs> a real electric car. Oh no. Uh, and Berg is over that way. Right, let's go. 
in and out burger was awesome, but now it's time to get serious. Oh, that was amazing. And there goes my diet. I think that's cheating if you have a battery power. No, he doesn't have a battery power. Oh, he doesn't? No, no, he's walking. He's, he's, he's doing the manual job. Oh, I guess I just saw him gliding along. Anyway, good luck with uh, your new oh, bolt. Thank well, you. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Model the truck. three. It'll be a model three. I think <laughs> yeah. those seats, and and plus the car. Like he, he even said later on, there'll be more incentives. He even yeah. admitted that you know now is maybe. Yeah, and not it's the and we were saying time. it's the price and the infrastructure. Yeah, those are the two things that they need to bring the price down a little yeah. bit, and they need to sort infrastructure exactly. out, and then we're and golden. Thanks very much for a very oh, enjoyable day. Cheers. Pleasure to meet you. I love what you do. And I love your dad's, your dad's work too. The yes. I have to go do one of his editings now. Yeah. <laughs> I get told off. What Cheers. I have had an absolutely fantastic day and I hope you have too. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram if you don't already and I'll see you tomorrow for the next installment of my daily vlog. Bye. I think that's probably my favourite statement of the day so far, is that the bolt has got the same 0-60 as this. <laughs>